<laughs> Robin. It's Opie and Anthony. Very busy uh, morning. We got uh, Lewis Black in studio talking politics, and now we got to welcome Terry O'Quinn to the uh, to the program. Of oh, course, yeah. Locke from Lost. Absolutely. Mic on? I'm a. Uh, Should be on. Get that mic on. God damn it. Nothing. I- yeah, yeah, yeah. You there, just gotta there you go. just you just gotta eat the Pull mic a little bit. Oh, jeez, okay. There you go. He's uh, soft spoken. Yeah, so well, uh, turn him up a little bit. <laughs> I uh, I got crucified uh, with the last lost guest or uh, star that was on as a guest on this program, saying that I was fanboy. I monopolized the conversation. Uh, Who said that? Uh, all, all my pals here well, in the oh, not, studio, but, not, but not Michael Emerson. Yeah, no, it was Michael Emerson. <laughs> say, yeah, but he wouldn't say. He appreciated. He wouldn't it, say that. I, I had to actually with him the night before last, and he did say that. Actually, he did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, damn it! I thought, look, what? See, what a nice picture. I I guess, said, is it, it going to be tough talking to those guys? And he said, "Well, you don't really have to talk at all." <laughs> 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 oh, is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you know, uh, we get uh, big stars in here and we could care less. But uh, with the lost people, Anthony is just a uh, big-time fan. Boy. It's uh, it's me and Than and Travis are giant fans. Uh, Jimmy's uh, getting into which is I'm a pain in the ass. Three. So you don't have to talk, which is a pain in the ass because he's you can't talk to people that are, are backed up a little oh, bit. Right. Because the characters and things change so much and so often that... Uh, you really can't uh, talk to him. Like, we couldn't even talk about uh, the character, Ben, because he wasn't up to that pos- uh, sp- uh, spot yet. He was still the, the guy in the balloon right. with no, his it, wife. Yeah, you sort of have an obligation to catch up. Oh, I, you, yeah. you should, I, I do. I just go home after this show, and I just sit there with a box set. You don't know how fast I've gone through seasons one and two, but I don't want to rush it and not... And enjoy it enjoy fully. It. Yeah, but I, that is the problem with box sets. You start rushing, you know, uh, viewings. Uh, yeah, you want to slow it down a little bit and take it in a little bit. I'm sitting there with my wife, and we haven't we shot this season is so long ago now because of the strike that we, I don't even remember what we shot. So we're talk, we're watching the show, and if somebody coughs and someone's mouth is moving on the screen, you got to go back because they might have said, <laughs> I don't know they what say. They said. They might have said somebody's name or some piece of information. So, do you, as 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 uh, one of the stars of the show, because like every time I think I figure out what they're doing, I realize I have no idea what they're doing. So it's like, do you really know exactly what's going on, or do you just kind of learn like week to week with the script, like the rest of us? No, week to week. Well, yeah, I mean, I know what we shot. That's all I know. I don't even know what the next script that we're going to go shoot when we start shooting again in March. We're going back to work. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know what that script. Uh, what, what that holds in store. So you don't know the ultimate reveal. Whatever the ultimate reveal no, is, you don't I know. No, I have no idea. I'm, I'm assuming somebody knows. I mean, I certainly hope they do at this point. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of awkward. Yeah. We, have, we, yeah. we, we all just four, want a flight home. We don't know. We have 40 episodes left to shoot. And, uh, so You're figure, hoping they know, they know where this is I going. I think, you know, I'm thinking, I, because I think these first three in this season were pretty strong, so yeah. I think it's like the old horse that smells a barn. You know, they're perking up a little bit. And you guys are going back to Hawaii in March. Now, yeah. uh, does Hawaii get boring after a while? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. I'm thinking it place. might though. It's the best place I've ever worked. And, but do uh, they set you up nice, like a condo or something, or are you living out no, of a, no, they a give hotel? You a, no, they give you a they give you a pittance to relocate. You know, the contracts they have for TV <laughs> houses, they give you a relocation fee, and after that, you're on your own, getting to work and getting oh. home and going wherever you go. Oh, you know, no kidding! Your digs. So if you want to spend some good money, you could live uh, large in Hawaii. Sure, or, or I mean, maybe we bought a house a there. I mean, I figured okay. out. You know, I was optimistic. Couldn't I wait until everything got as expensive as it could possibly get, and I bought a house. <laughs> did, <laughs> yeah. did you uh, did you expect the show to take off like it did? No, I didn't. I didn't buy yeah. a house in the first season. Yeah, no, no I waited. Uh, you know, I don't. You've been doing it as long as me. You don't expect. You expect the worst. Or you hope for the best. Yeah, I, I, I was looking at your uh, your resume. You, you've been in a lot of stuff. Um, is this the most successful show you've 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 done? Oh I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, easily. Because yeah. for years you were, hey, it's that guy. You know, I've seen this guy. I know him. Yeah, he's you shop at Home Depot. One of those things. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes he's got a mustache. Like J.T. Walsh. You, you know the face for many years, but a lot of people didn't know the name. And all of a sudden, mm-hmm. one role or, or yeah. Frank Vincent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it isn't about most successful. I've been in shows that were more successful. This was the first time that I got, got paid for it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you did theater. 
Yeah. And yeah. there's nothing more successful than theater. Too. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know, they roll in every night, so, all 180 was, of them. I was, <laughs> and, and, you know, I was so successful. I, I can't wait to see Shakespeare's dog. <laughs> Making fans 180 at a time. <laughs> wow. That's right. Instead Those of being on laws, we're all the ladies of the club that have the same blinking lapel pin. <laughs> <laughs> and you're mesmerized as you're going through O'Neill and sliding down somebody's sweaty arm. You know? It would take a hundred years of theater uh, to reach the same audience of one episode of Lost, basically. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, what are the, what, you know, that's the thing about Lost is, you know, many people watch an episode of Lost is watch a big Oscar-nominated motion picture in the whole, yeah. in its lifetime. Mm -hmm. And that happens on one night. So I well, that's what, amazing. That's what I, I was saying was so great about the show is it comes off like a major motion picture, uh, which is, you don't get that a lot, especially with uh, an ensemble cast. It, you never get as as much into the personalities as you have with uh, with Lost, you know that's one thing I think it's going to be hard to to tie all this up because you really kind of care about all the characters. Uh, there's not these peripheral. There's not as many peripheral characters, and then the you know just focal point on a couple of people. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to satisfy everybody. No. But um, one of the things that's attractive about the show is we didn't know who any of these people were. I mean, you mm -hmm. didn't most, you know, they didn't, people didn't know who I was, and they didn't know who John Michael Emerson was, and they, we, they might have seen us before. But to me, having a big star in any particular role is always a distraction I have to get past. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm going to enjoy a movie or a television mm -hmm. show, it's something I have to get past. And so when I tell my wife that, she says, well, you've managed to avoid that. You know, <laughs> you've been really successful. Did you tell me people don't recognize you as uh, Chuck McBride from Remington Steel? <laughs> <laughs> you could say characters' names to me, and I go, I didn't know that I was him. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, no. no. You were this person on, on uh, The X-Files. I, I didn't know what his name was. I'll go with Goldberg. Yeah. That's oh, oh, the... Uh, movie the yeah yeah you got blown up pretty good in the x-files movie yeah, that was a good <laughs> entrance and one. a good exit in yeah, yeah absolutely has anything happened to your character like because they, they do so many different changes and there's mm -hmm. so many shots to the past is there anything that happened with your character in the show that you 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 didn't like at first or that you like oh i wish they didn't do that but then wound up working I didn't know. No, I, I I think it's I think they're amazing writers. So, uh, at the end of the last season, I can't. You, you have to like. No, I don't want to ruin. This okay, for no, you. it's okay. Go ahead. You can just. Say it. I'll, I'll <laughs> I threw a knife into a woman's back, and I called him, and I beefed about that. I said, "That's kind of crazy. That's a little yeah. out of character, a little radical." And they said, "Well, he does it." And I said, "Well, I said I don't mind the fact that I do that, but then I can't even like shoot the guy in, Jack in the knee." I said, "What's what's that? That's just." That's just puss. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to, look, you know, carry through on it. And I like how they've shown you do that, like, uh, previously, uh, previously on Lost. And there you are, fuck, with that knife. <laughs> they can't get enough of showing you with I that know, knife. I know. I said, that seems a little gratuitous. Jimmy, but... something with a, ni with a knife. If that's you okay. Yeah. Yeah. A it out. Was yeah. it a breast? Yeah. A breast? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> aside from uh, a breast, aside from uh, Ben... Uh, I think Locke is one of the more mysterious uh, characters on the show, uh, right from the beginning. I mean, uh, finding out, I think your character was one of the most interesting in finding out uh, where you came from in the flashbacks. He had the he has the best backstory. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's over now. But it was a it was, that was a great run. And it I was mean, a, yeah, it was a really nice contrast between him before and him now. You know, yeah, it, 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 it could just such a, uh, a beaten down kind of bitter oh, yes. guy with with never having dude. to buy a Father's Day card, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> a sad and, dude with really bad hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Trying to get a phone sex operator to go on vacation. You <laughs> <laughs> <He> rules. <laughs> Come on, you've been there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course I have. Wow, yeah, no doubt. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I say your character, more than anybody else's Fred character, has one. gone through different changes. Mm -hmm. um, and there's times where I like you, and there's times where I'm like, ugh, he's really irritating me. Like, you're doing these 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 things that Locke does, I'm like, I don't like what he's doing right now. Where everybody else has remained, I, I kind of like that. You've changed a lot, and then you come back, and I'm like, oh, okay, it was for a good reason that he was doing that. He wasn't just being a creep. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, hopefully it'll keep on going that way. I mean, he's in one of those stages right now where he's, where he's a little freaked out. Well, what happened yeah. was that you don't know about. Okay. He's, oh, he's boy. Got, he <laughs> hey, Earmuffs, earmuffs. Well, earmuffs. You know, something or somebody pulled him out of this hole. He got shot through the middle by Ben, and he was laying in a hole full of bones, and you yeah. know, somebody saved him. Some voice, some person's island saved him, so now he's got religion which as we all know it makes people 
crazy. A little crazy. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> He's got religion and he's really dangerous now. You know, once yeah. A little religion goes along. You've done way. that back and forth over the course of the uh, show where you kind of do things and go, what? Yeah, what is he doing? Yeah. Why? Why is you? You tend to divide up the group a lot. Yeah. You know, some people want to follow you. Divisive character, yeah. And I loved the. Um, uh, uh, Colonel Kurtz reference that was made to you. He's got all the good ones. <laughs> that was a yeah, great that's... line. It's like, all right, Colonel Kurtz. Colonel Kurtz, yeah. <laughs> that went by, by a lot of people, but they, yeah. you know, they do. The, these guys are so, they're really smart. I mean, yeah. They're, they're really smart. You know, these are the guys who were, who, who, were, who were in high school, and they were the ones that, you know, people locked in the lockers in gym class, you know, and, and, and <laughs> yeah, calling now. all the shots now, and they know everything. And they're, yeah. when I do complain, on the few occasions that I have complained, you know, basically they say, you know, we, you, you got the check, right? Oh, yeah, I got the check. Okay. All right. Say the okay. lines. And <laughs> yeah. if they listen to the actors, it would be, we'd be off the air. It'd be boring. <laughs> boring as hell. It really is one of the best written shows I've ever seen. And I didn't want to like it because, you know, I, I always think I'm like this stupid maverick. Like, I won't like what everybody else likes. And the first episode I watched, I got hooked on it. No, don't it you just, hate that? Oh, I'm such an ass. It was you don't admit ripped. to watching American it's Idol the, or Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I admit oh. to Dancing with the Stars. I mean, the, the chicks are so hot on that show. How can you not watch that? <laughs> <laughs> How can you not watch that show? I met that little blonde-haired girl at the uh, Kentucky Derby. You know, Did you? One the last couple of years. God, she's a, <laughs> remarkable. What, what would you do to her? <laughs> yeah. What would you do to her? <laughs> Put her in a wheelchair. Lo lock her in some underground no. bunker. <laughs> no, she's a, and she's a Mormon, which gives it another twist, you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Another sick yeah, twist. Yeah, that's I, perfect. I think Belladonna was a Mormon. Do uh, you know who Belladonna is? A uh, porn star? N no. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Oh, Rob, she's, she doesn't seem very Mormonish. You, uh, you have a, a great recognition factor. I mean, uh, and uh, I assume that's been since Lost started. I mean, you've been in a lot of stuff before that, but uh, Lost is, is huge and you're very recognizable walking around. Uh, like that huh? is that it has that annoyed the crap out of you or is no, it no uh, no are you kidding I, not no, yet no, no wonderful that's what you've been working toward i've been doing this forever you know? <laughs> yeah you know people used to go hey 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 <laughs> yeah you know? it's like i know you from yeah. somewhere uh... and, then, and then and then finally when this show started they said uh lock John yeah, Locke, you know, <laughs> not then, your real name and then in the last season last year or so people actually say are you terry o'quinn and i go Huh. I'm, I'm there now. Did it? <laughs> they, they made it. Or well, they say, "Are you Terry O'Neill?" And I say, yeah. <laughs> "No, <laughs> right. you're close. It's right. getting closer." All right. So you can get any, <laughs> like any restaurant you walk. There's probably no place in the country you can go. I mean, every airport you walk through, there's there's nobody that's not going to recognize you. I mean, well, oh, there's there's plenty of people. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of people who do, but it's not. It's 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 at a nice uh, level where people come up to me singly, or you know, couples do, and you know, we take a photo, we chat. It's very pleasant. You know, but what's amazing to me, I was in Europe this summer for the first time since this started, and there were more people who kn who knew us. I was walking around with uh, uh, Jorge Garcia. We were up in Canada, mm -hmm. and you know, another. Well, how you can't walk around with Jorge Garcia? No, who plays, who plays <laughs> early. No, if they don't recognize you, they know him. But more people in Ireland knew me than recognize me than anywhere I've been around here. Wow. You oh, it was, yeah, it was amazing. Bought, yeah. bought a lot of drinks. <laughs> oh, I had to, <laughs> I had to stay out of the pubs finally. Yeah. <laughs> stay, stay out of the pubs. You know, there's no Guinness on the island. <laughs> <laughs> At what point as an actor did you realize, like like, like you said, like was it by season three or was it somewhere through season one where you're like, I'm a star? Like all those years of like you know uh, uh, you don't I can't you don't say that or I mean, how about this I, you know. maybe, maybe I'm not a star maybe not in the in the pompous language that I certainly intend on using something <laughs> <laughs> but I mean when did you finally realize like okay this is it like I don't have to this is not going to go away uh oh that when does that happen you haven't I, had it no this should, no you know what I feel like I feel like John Locke <laughs> like when when I leave this island. I won't be able to walk again. I'll be back to whatever the hell it was before, you know, and it'll be, that's what I feel like. And that's, I think that's what most actors, I mean, wow. Dustin Hoffman said, you know, every job is your last job and that's what you feel like. And, um, I don't have any, there's no, you know, there's no, uh, I haven't had an indication yet. People aren't knocking down the door or go, when are you going to be done with this? Cause I want to give you another job. And, well, you'll be able to afford to do theater now. It's just really a break. Yeah, this will be novel. <laughs> Seriously, this is going to be big for you. <laughs> Lewis will let go. Of <laughs> I'm, no. not, I'm never going to let go. Of I know you from the very it. beginning. Uh, You're holding a you grudge. Know, it no, there's like no grudge. It. There's a little grudge. There. I'm in theater too, putz. <laughs> <laughs> theater too. It's, it's called sharing a bad lifeboat, a <laughs> <laughs> leaky <laughs> lifeboat. <laughs> He's, uh, it's, are you uh, uh, are, are you bitter show on his, television? I was no. We were theater. You're bitter of his success. We did theater. I understand where you were. We did theater.
Got it? <laughs> I've had it with you. <laughs> yeah. And you're in the Don't regional. even go there. Why you're the in regional theater, you know, and somebody's happy in, for you, a friend? Somebody can be a star in regional theater and somebody can be if you're in the upper echelon in regional theater, it's kinda like having the good suit in the prison, you know, it's like having the best <laughs> it's like having the newest outfit. You know, it's not like, it's not like I got more cigarettes yeah. than you. That's it what is. it's like, you know. It is. You're the one who's allowed to smoke. But Lewis came up to me and told me that we, we I saw him at the Emmys just briefly, you know, and um he said, I remember that and I said, I can't I said uh, See, you're one of my heroes. I would vote for you, Lewis. <laughs> Honestly, to God, I would. Whoever, whoever wins should you should you should be there. He's got a great mate. take on things. You should be there running, man. Yeah. You know, you should be Secretary of State. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, honestly, I think this guy's one of the geniuses of our of our age. He's, he's a, a great he's comedian. He's a comic genius. But yep. Secretary of State, I don't know. It'd be kind of hard have a press conference before noon. He's passed out in a hotel somewhere. I think, but see, that's, you know, that's the American way. Point, pointing into the camera. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I don't remember how I got home last night. Right, right. <laughs> I know it. Well, you know, you got Condi Rice, you got Lewis Platt. I, mean, yeah. I think that's the way you swing. Are you following uh, the election there, Tim? Oh, yeah. Yeah? What do you uh, think? I think that everybody, I think we should all have, you know, everybody, if everybody had public funds, if we could only use public funds, we'd still be listening to Bill Richardson and Kucinich and all these guys, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, I hate that everybody's out of the race already. And, you know, Edwards, whoever. I mean, it's just no fun. Yeah, before it gets down to us, I was saying it's like uh, going to um, a bullfight where by the time it gets to the actual bullfighter, there's been so much damage done to the bull that it's not really... It, 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 we we the people do not have the, the vote. It's made for us. The decision's made, and then there's a couple of people left, and that's what that we have good. to deal with. Oh, thank you, sir. Did you think that so? Good. I don't know. I, I, I like thought you that. I thought you could do better. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was. You didn't like, of, you know, you didn't like the better, analogy. And, and instead of better at home. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Alone in the mirror. Yes. <laughs> Nude. And, and the pundits are so so horrible. People picking these things are just boring the crap out of me. Yeah. Just like you know, Hillary was it. I mean, McCain is already debating Obama, you know, yeah. in their victory speeches last night, McCain was already attacking Obama. Yeah, like he's the you Republican know, Obama, candidate. McCain, I'm going it. like, God, is this is going to get really, really boring. Obama yeah, went on too on long forever. last night, too. He fell down a little bit last night. I thought he started yeah. out strong and, and he just he just rolled, you know. I turned on the internet, you know, turned down the television, turned it on 20 minutes later and he was still talking. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah. You know, I go, that's not it's a victory little, speech. That's a little too long. That's an oration. Been a little full yeah. of himself. I oh, think. he uh, babbled a little bit too much? <laughs> yeah. He was probably just trying to, like, keep the mic tied up so his wife couldn't get on and wreck things. <laughs> God almighty, I love her. She just, she, you know how you know she's nuts? She has too much white stuff around her pupils, which is the sign of a psychopath. <laughs> Anyone that has that much <laughs> white exactly. around. Look, yeah. at, look at how he's holding his eyes right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> like a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. So I, I love her. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. When we had uh, Michael on uh, a couple of days ago, we were talking about the beating he's just been taking and uh, how hysterical it's been. I've never seen a person be punched about the face by so many different people in a show. <laughs> he's resilient, isn't he? He certainly he's is. Tough, he's a tough little guy. Just when you're ready to kill him, talk too. Talk about psychopathic eyes. I'm sorry. There's Michael. Michael. <laughs> and and I'm yeah. on the show. He's a really great guy to work with. He's a real he's pro. He's amazing. Yeah. And uh, he can he can turn that character on oh, man. in a second and yeah. just... Because he's not a he's not a big menacing guy, but the, it's just something about him that is frightening. Yeah, Very well, he's got he's got that real psychopathic edge down. You yeah, know, he can do that in a minute. He's, yeah, Michael's funny. You know, we're on the set and. Uh, People give people give each other music on our set. You know, Evangeline Lilly gives me like some sort of like inspirational kind of you know thoughtful sort of Zen music sometimes. And Jorge Garcia gives you the sort of like the upfront people that the, that the really avant garde people in England are listening to that you won't hear for a year here. You know. Yeah. And Michael gives me. Cliff Edwards, who was the voice of Jiminy Cricket, playing, <laughs> playing uh, the ukulele with 25 songs, and it's one—that's my favorite one. <laughs> and it scares me, Michael. That you know, you know what I like. You know, but, but yeah, that's that's Michael. People are now obviously people are going to go. Why didn't you ask about the the show and things? Because they don't know. They they're not going to talk. We don't know what the goddamn smoke is. Okay. Yeah. We don't know. No one knows what the smoke oh, is. Good. I no, I don't. No, you know when I first met the smoke, I was kind of disappointed because I was thought there was going to be some thing. It was some big creature. Yeah, yeah. You, know, but you no, heard it, it was, rumbling, and it's kind of strange smoke. But I'm, I'm cool with the smoke. Now. Yeah. Hopefully if, we'll find out what. Eventually it is. we'll find out. No more polar bears. You know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I know more polar bears. I, uh, they don't TCG whatever that thing is. They don't do polar bears. <laughs> <very well. laughs> the CGI. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like something from the uh, what were those old Christmas specials? They would have with the, the, the rickety polar bear and uh, 
uh, night before Christmas. Oh, wait, yeah, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> yeah, how do I not know that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are uh, running out of They're time here. Off, oh, damn. We ended uh, five of nine, uh, but obviously uh, Terry O'Quinn on uh, Lost, which is Lost every, Thursday. Thursday Come night, on. nine o'clock. Thursday night, nine o'clock on uh, ABC. Uh, I love it. Amazing, wow. just an amazing show. I've never been so uh, hooked on a show, uh, probably ever. Oh, where man. I can't miss it, and I get annoyed when I I have it uh, TiVo'd or DVR'd, and everyone else has seen it, and I just I gotta go. Shut up! Shut up! I've never seen so many people that don't want to know what happens. It's uh, That's cool. just an amazing, like you said, written amazingly, and the acting in it, and the the whole ensemble is uh, fantastic. And um, you just do a great job. Um, uh, my girlfriend started crying when you got shot. We were on the plane, uh, on the train, going down to Philly, I think. Yeah. And she starts crying, and everyone's like, "What's what's the matter?" You're like, "Luck just got shot." <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he'll be okay. Although with that show, you don't know. But I think he'll be all right. I don't need to ask if he died because he's here promoting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, so it's every Thursday night lost. We really don't need to tell you what yeah, lost is on. Fantastic. You, know, you have been living in this country. So thank you so much for coming. Yeah, in. absolutely. Uh, it was nice to see you and, guys. Uh, Thanks. Lewis, do you have anything to plug? Uh, yeah, uh, Root of All Theater. Evil comes on March 12th. Comedy Central. Theater. That's your uh, special? Your stand special? Stand-up special, and then we'll we'll soon be doing it in regional theater. Regional theater. <laughs> I'll be doing it with two middle acts. Hey, what's that thing you're doing about the history of comedy or something? It's I the history of the joke. They had it on the History Channel. It's on the History Channel. Yeah, it's just, yeah how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit. That's about theater, isn't it? They're, I guess <laughs> they they've completely run out of Hitler footage. That's yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus, come on! Finally, right? <laughs> Got to find something. And I have to plug. Uh, this Friday night, I'll be at the Egg in Albany. Uh, tickets five one eight four seven three eighteen forty five. Go see him. Or we'll go to see uh, just Ticketmaster, whatever the Egg dot org. All right, we got to get out of here. Thank All you, text, everybody. Sam, have a great day. Thanks. Whip them out Wednesday. Who can improve on that? And who would want to? Hang on.